Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Off Point. Um, my name's Les Steed. I'm Marlon White. And we are joined today by our special guest, Mrs. Marlon. Would you like to introduce yourself? Hi, everyone. I'm uh, Mrs. White. Mrs. White. And for those watching, my wife doesn't want to be on camera, so we'll be looking off camera. Yeah, and that's she's like in that direction, yeah. which is why we keep pointing thusly, <laughs> um, because she's behind the camera and she's shy. Um, but she's, I can assure you, she's most beautiful indeed. Um, you know, no need to be camera shy, to be honest with you. I mean, she's probably the most photogenic of the three of us. Um, okay, yes, so is. first things first. Today's topic is obviously going to be about marriage, what it's like to get married, that kind of stuff. So burning question on all our lips. You guys got married when? We got married the 1st of November. Oh my God, her <laughs> eyebrows just went up. Her eyebrows just went up. Yeah, fuck this up. I dare you. I dare you. We got... <laughs> Come on, fuck it up. <laughs> we got married the 1st of November, 2020. Is that true? Yes. <laughs> it doesn't look like it's true. Is it, it actually? It I is, should know this because I was one of the... True. I was in the I also party. had to try and remember myself because it was a... Uh quite a few different wedding dates we moved yeah. wedding about three times jesus yeah because of covid oh yeah you guys got you know married in a uh, in a co in a covid climate yeah um okay so first things first um what's it like to be married uh what's it like it's not it's not much different for because we lived with each other for about two years so it's not much different in terms of that aspect of it besides now we all have these nice ring 18 to 18 karat rings that we have to wear we we wear all the time not 24 yeah. okay um, <laughs> uh, no, I'm joking. Um, okay, so what do you reckon? Uh, I think it is a bit different, to be honest, because okay. you kind of have this. I'm gonna cause a fight. This, <laughs> this, you have this feeling of um, like permanency, which I think you don't have when you're not married. There's always that kind of feeling of mm. oh, you've got up on a boyfriend, and although although you're committed, it feels like you can end the relationship at any time mm, yeah but once you're married it's, it's a different kind of yeah there's a lot vibe. of financial there's more pressure i think a really? little bit psychologically more pressure do you think that, um, that... What? sorry go on. but i think um i think for us like we kind of felt that pressure for a little like a, a moment and then we were just like, oh let's kind of go back to how we were before we realized nothing <laughs> really has changed <laughs> i can fight but in bed for, again yes <laughs> but for, <laughs> but for a minute you, you do kind of feel like oh Oh wow, this is this is forever. But I think it's really important not to become complacent when yeah. you're married. I think that's the key thing. I think initially you felt like nothing changed, but I guess um you're going to change your answer because she's yeah. just corrected you. Aren't yeah, you? I'm going to change yeah, it. Go on. But it's, uh, it's just little things like when um people ask you about your like relationship status, you have to be like you're like um you're married or not. Like, that gets that's really weird to start saying after a while. It's just like now now it rolls off the tongue. But when you first get married, it's just it feels really weird. I think it feels weird. It felt weird for you, though, didn't it? It was really weird saying husband. Yeah. Like, I wouldn't say husband for like the Did first you find it less awkward than fiance? five or six months. Know, fiance. Yeah, fiance was really awkward. Fiance was worse. I think yeah. I used to say partner a lot, yeah. and then yes. I realised that people probably thought that I had I, a girlfriend. Yeah, I had yeah. a girlfriend. <laughs> and it, nothing wrong with that, but I just <laughs> probably thought actually maybe I should just say husband just so they don't think that I have a girlfriend. Do you find that people are like sort of <laughs> sorry I didn't mean to jump in on, on that but like I've just occurred to me do you find people are more respectful towards both of you now you say husband and wife because there's this Ed, there's this Ed um, Byrne joke where he's like your wife okay I'll stop looking at her tits then <laughs> you know like I mean do you find that that's the case or is it just kind of people just treat you the same as they did before as a couple I think um, it's, it's kind of weird just because we got married in lockdown so we haven't been out as much as a couple as you would usually be just because of the whole lockdown situation, the whole COVID restrictions, but um, I don't know. Have we, have we like introduced each other as like husband and wife, or you haven't gone into galas where uh, they're like Mr. and Mrs. White presenting? I think there've been some occasions. I mean, one of the things is I haven't changed my name legally. <laughs> Ooh, so, how do you feel about that? So legally, I, I, I still <laughs> you lose it as leverage. I'm still using lose it as my maiden <laughs> using yeah. my maiden name, but I do think people do treat you a little bit differently when you say husband and wife. Not not like. Like you're grown ups now. Yeah, it's more like at work. I don't know. Mm. I, I feel like saying I have a husband takes it to a whole different mm. level, and immediately then people know that you're older, and people know that you're kind of you know more serious in a sense. Um, so I do think like saying I have a husband at work makes a difference to how yeah. I'm perceived by my colleagues, do which you... sounds really strange and isn't really the right way to, if you think about it, because I don't think that 
not being married should be you should be seen like as as mm. lesser. But I do think there's this same kind of psychological, um, maybe unconscious perception yeah. that people have of married people. It's kind of like, oh, you're married. Okay, yeah, so like you've got that sort. You've got that sorted out in your life. Yeah. That it's like something that you've got sorted in your life. And people who are not I'm married fucked. are chaotic and all over the place. <laughs> oh, come like, on, we're not that bad. <laughs> there's that, that kind he of says like, I've been dumped yesterday. That's, that, there's that <laughs> kind of like un- unconscious thing there in society, isn't it? Like it, there's this kind of it is. positivity seen around people that are married, and it's, and then there's also loads of questions where they ask in surveys about your marriage yeah. status yeah, which I never understand that? like yeah. why does it matter I think if you're and, a single bloke and, and, then they're more likely <laughs> to be able to move you around a bit I think if you're single then people are happy to happy to move you but you have to write single instead of got a girlfriend long term girlfriend or something like that and a single just sounds like negative yeah. well, like actually I'm a lonely I'm reject. quite happy on my own <laughs> I, I'm married to myself yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's weird that single have a cat. that single status as well because even if you're like engaged or in a relationship you still most time have to put single because there's no other category to put you can't put I would just skip to married as soon as I was engaged. It's like you know, it's like I'm sorry, I spent five grand on that yeah. ring. She is married. You know, I'm put. You know, I've earned this. <laughs> you know, like um, okay. Speaking of, did you uh, get the ring back, Les? What? Just curious. What ring? Oh, when you oh what? When I got engaged? No, it was. I, I, I say engaged. I mean unofficially. I asked her if she'd oh. marry me. She said yes, and then she then said that she would again and again, um, and then. Um, but you kept the ring. No, no, yeah, no, I, I hadn't got no around ring. to the ring stage. There was, there was no ring at that point. Oh, it, right. It's like sort of unofficially, we had an agreement kind of thing rather than, you know, like, will you marry me? It wasn't, I mean, I, it was in the perfect place though. I mean, it really was. It's a shame that um, she's later since then become somebody who doesn't like me at all. You know, hell hath no fury, sadly. Bitch. <laughs> um, but yeah, I oh, know. I mean, like, yeah, um, there are things we can't say on camera and on the record, but suffice to say that one was warranted. Uh, but yeah, so uh, I wanted to ask about, um, okay, so you're sitting there with the wedding book. So I want to ask, like, um, okay, firstly, why did you want to get married? Should I answer that or? Oh, yeah, oh, wait, actually, wait, no, wait. Well, I've got you. There's another episode where we talk about the proposal, and I'm not going to lie, it was slightly underwhelming. So, what did you think of the proposal? <laughs> God, um, short hairs. <laughs> well, I the really proposal. liked the proposal because it was a kind of a weekend of surprises Aww. for me. Um, so, yeah, no, I really liked like the proposal. It was quite low key, um, but then that's that's Mr. White. Um, he's, kind of, <laughs> he's quite. You're allowed to say his name. We're just not allowed to say yours yeah. unless you want us to. <laughs> yeah. But I am. Um, I wanted to get married, I think, um, just to kind of show that next level of commitment. Yeah. Um, but oh. I think I was quite relaxed about it. I wasn't, I don't think I was really pressuring you, was I? No. Um, <laughs> it's on the to-do list, but it doesn't matter when, as long as it's in the next five years. You kept making jokes every time I bought you a gift, or oh, it's a ring, maybe like a watch shape box or something, and you have like, well, you don't buy someone a watch in a ring-shaped box. <laughs> ring a watch-shaped box, unless you're getting really, really ahead of yourself there. I mean, it's like, it's like, dude, no. <laughs> this would better be a ring. It's like this massive box. Come on, baby. <laughs> so, um, so you wanted to do it because you know you felt you were at that stage in life, yeah. both of you, and it felt like the right person, at the right time. And clearly, you're right. He said seven months in. No, a year and a half now, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What did yeah. you do for your first anniversary? <laughs> I don't know if it was a bit. Uh, we didn't do anything that spectacular. I think what did I, what do we do? Um, we went, I went to the theatre, then we went bowling. I thought like try to bring it back to the old school days of like dating, oh, try to do something, something that we we used to go bowling, we used to have fun. Then lockdown happened and we couldn't do anything, so I just wanted to do something like that's actually quite yeah, romantic. Yeah, that's really sweet. Then we went out for dinner as well after that. That is sweet. Yeah. I mean, that is really cute. I mean, like you know, I've got nothing. <laughs> Um, yeah, what a lovely like. That's a lovely little date. Because that's yeah. the thing. You always do. do are you worried that you're going to date less as a couple now that you're married and live together? I think well, you still might want to do the dating thing. I think we have. Together, I obviously. think we have dated less, but recently we've been trying to at least do one date. We've been night a month having a date night. Yeah. Thing. Oh, that's yeah. cute. What like once a week, once a month? What? About once a about? month, once or twice a month. It depends. Do you get dressed up and stuff like that? It's like, oh my darling, you look amazing. I know. But I know. You chose just, the dress. It might be something. <laughs> small, it might be something that's more of just going to the cinema. Just. Yeah, yeah you just doing do, something just yeah. the two of you. you like, when important. you live with each other, you're like, oh, we can just watch Netflix and stay in all day. 
and it's just like you don't get to do mm. that stuff that made you like each other in the first place. So yeah, yeah, just yeah, it's about doing more of that. And obviously, lockdown happened, so that you wasn't was unable to do a lot of that for most of the year. But um, now we now we're able to do what we want. We want we we try to implement that a lot more. Don't you think? Yeah, we try to have yeah date nights. Um, and try to make a bit more of an effort mm. as to what we wear. <laughs> you're saying that you're both in slacks. Uh, no, yeah, I mean, when both, we, when we go out, we yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. you can tell that I'm the guest because I'm the only one wearing jeans. Um, <laughs> slovenly people. Uh, no, I'm joking. Um, but no, it's just like um, so. Okay, let's get on to the process bit. Obviously, a lot of people trying to get married these days. Um, you guys started. I assume you started with a bigger plan than you ended up with, because otherwise I'd have been there. Yeah. Um, because I was one of the groomsmen. Thank you very so much. For anybody that. listening, Quite the um, we only got married with fifteen people, so we had that. Uh, had my best man. You had your maid of honor, and um, you had your grandparents and your parents. And you cut the star of yeah. the show. And I had a few of my. I had my mum and I had my cousins and aunts. So it was a very small wedding because of COVID. Yeah. You should and, have seen your and, uncle on the on the TV thing though, because I was watching it from the. Uh, sorry, I'm making it about me now. Um, you know, like I was watching it on the thing and like halfway through your vows one of your uncles goes i can't hear them mm -hmm. and you just get this big ear in the screen and everyone was like fuck <laughs> like, so for anybody any, anybody listen we had um had our wedding on like zoom as well for people that couldn't make it mm. yeah i um it was weird to be popping a bottle of champagne all dressed up from like the waist up <laughs> it was really hard um because we had originally 100 people booked yeah. mm. and we had to cut it down to 30 and then to 15 and yeah it was brutal it really mm. was brutal and the, the funny thing was that on the actual wedding day the venue asked us how many people we were allowed to have they had no idea they had no idea yeah, that we were only supposed to have 15 because, people because our government changed the rules so quickly each literally time. within a week of yeah. the wedding actually yeah because yeah. i remember like you know like i was like all right we'll stay at home then and then um, <laughs> i think the the day before the wedding he made an announcement so it was looking that they might cancel wedding full stop but he gave us about gave like four days he said in four days we're going back into lockdown which means weddings will be cancelled so lucky enough we were oh, able asshole. to squeeze it in because it's funny because I, I remember the whole process i bought my suit and everything but then um it was looking like we might go into lockdown again so i'm, like, I'm not gonna buy anything else so i didn't buy my wedding shoes so i remember being down the west end yeah Going, I went to the West End the day before the wedding to buy my wedding shoes and I'm looking at my phone like, should I buy these now or is he going to go put us back into lockdown? That's yeah. weird. But okay, so let's get on to the wedding book because obviously mm. there was a lot of planning that went into this before Boris Johnson came along and hypocritically messed everyone's lives up. Um, not that it's political. Um, wanker. <laughs> uh, okay, so with yours, okay, so you've got the wedding book there and I'm noticing that as you're flicking through it, when I say book, I don't mean a little notepad. I mean, it's, wanna... it's a book. It's a full on like, you know, like there are chapters in this thing. Okay, go on, give it a flick. Let's give yeah. it a flick. All right. Love the gold, by the way, <laughs> ladies. Love the gold. Okay. I mean, this page is, oh my goodness. All right. I have not even thought about any of this. 27, one photographer, two equestrians. Did you write two equestrians? I oh, know, receptionist. To buy? My goodness me. You've got more planning in this than I have in buying a house. I think I mentioned in the proposal episode that when it comes to planning a wed wedding, it's that the woman. Yeah, it's not in your handwriting, that's it? for sure. The woman takes <laughs> over. So I, I, this is the, probably my first time seeing this book, or <laughs> I had no involvement in any of this. This is incredible organization. No wonder you're getting paid the big bucks compared <laughs> to us. Like, this is crazy. I, I mean, the budgeting alone for stamp, wait, stamp duty, sorry. Oh no, that's the... what was the weirdest thing that you ended up having that's to spend money on? I think it has some house stuff in there as well. Oh, okay. At the beginning, yeah. Um, sorry, I didn't mean to jump into stamp duty. <laughs> um, okay, but like, okay, so what was the weirdest thing you ended up spending money on? Uh, weirdest thing. Mm. I don't know about weird, but the most, the thing that surprised me the most in terms of expense was definitely photography. Oh yeah. How much is that? Well, starting price is typically around fifteen hundred. I thought you were going to say 600 for a package. For a that's package. Cheap. That's, a, that's, a that's, that's a standard. That's cheap. Yeah. Yeah, 1,500 pounds for some photos. 
Yeah. Wedding uh, photos are really expensive. The thing about um wow. when you on the wedding day and you turn into a massive photo shoot, you can end up spending yeah. half of your day taking photos. Yeah, that's what I've noticed when, yeah. when I've been at weddings. It's like, okay, you know, and everyone just wants to go and have a party and get yeah. drunk and you've got some photographer going, everyone just squeeze in, squeeze yeah. in, squeeze in for 20 minutes. I think I heard somebody say that um you, you have to sort of tell the photographer that when to stop because obviously they're doing their passion. They love taking yeah. photos. So they'll take they'll take photos all day long if they if, if you let them. But you have to also um, allow yourself to um, enjoy the day. Because I, I remember, you know, like when you have your dessert, I remember having like custard and cake. And then I, I, I didn't get to dig into it. And I had to go and take some photos. And then what? by the time I got back to it, it was cold. Yeah, I didn't enjoy the cake. foods. Yeah. I, it was cold what? by the time I yeah, got yeah. to eat it. Yeah. Well, because the photographer. Yeah. You paid that dickhead 1500 to ruin your meal. <laughs> Your first meal as a couple, wedding breakfast? To be fair, well, you did a brilliant job, so I wouldn't Oh, yeah, that's yeah. good. Yeah, yeah. Right, it's not slagging yeah. off on the podcast. You did a brilliant job, but I mean, you spend most of it. You don't get to enjoy yourself as, as a, a, like a guest would. But the best picture of the candid yeah. ones are people being drunk. I mean, like, <laughs> I think weddings are much funner when you're a guest. Yeah. 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 Do you think on that note that given the process, of, I mean, how long did it take you to plan it? This was about a year's planning. Jesus. Yeah. That's a lot. And what was the hardest part for you planning it? Not being able to go ahead. <laughs> oh yeah, apart from that bit. I mean, is it like no? Is it like in the logistics? Uh, that's what I meant. I mean, like without without the intervention. I of, think um, um the, the main part that I had involvement with is the like venue. Right. So we had to um try to find a venue first of all. So uh, I think we had three places in mind. So one of them was our our old um stomping ground, Kill University, Kill oh, Hall. Jesus. So oh, that I'm was that was there. one place. I, can't, we I don't think I'm actually allowed back there. <laughs> So that's one place. the union. <laughs> yeah, but you would be allowed. You would have been allowed in Q Hall. I wouldn't have been allowed in the union. I'm still banned from there. I'm li- I think I'm one of three people with a lifetime ban. But anyway, um, yeah, that was one place, and then one the, the other place was a place at my 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 workplace that also has um venues available as well. Mm. And then we ended up um with the venue round the corner actually. Yeah, the, the dock, the yacht club. Yeah, beautiful place. Yeah, yeah. I went there for a pint. Yeah, and um, I think we chose this one mainly just because it's so convenient, just down the road. Also, it saves you on a wedding car. Yeah, exactly. yeah. Although I did still get a wedding car. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Where to, man? Left. <laughs> <laughs> right, you are. <laughs> Brilliant. Um, all right, good. And so, what was the bit that you liked the most? What was the part that surprisingly was the best bit um... on the day? So like I guess it um it's a bit different for both of us because we have both um different personalities. I'm more reserved and quiet, so I I'm introverted as well. So I prefer um I I like the intimate um wedding we had the 15 people because I think on a wedding day like say there was a hundred people you don't like just loads of people everywhere you don't know everybody, mm-hmm. but with the smaller wedding I felt like I got to interact with people more. I was able to go table to table, sit so down. So because table. it was smaller, it was better. Yeah, yeah. For me, really, but then like my yeah, wife is different <laughs> yeah it was nice to have a small wedding in that sense because you do get to speak to everyone i think mm. in a big wedding you you probably get overwhelmed a bit and you don't get the time to get around to speak to everyone but yeah. i like to be the center of attention so <laughs> a bit of hacking tree goes a long way <laughs> i probably would have loved it yeah. um so i mean we might still have a party at some point yeah hint 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 um, guys just to kind of like make up for it but yeah you should yeah. i want to come yeah then i get to do a speech yeah i don't like speaking too much but I'm, I'm waiting I, I know marlon's got plans to arrange it so <laughs> try yeah. to catch me on camera <laughs> you have got plans right? yeah <laughs> i guess um, i think You're you fucked. asked <laughs> i think you asked um what was the hardest part i think one of the hardest part obviously because of covid we had to uninvite people yeah to the and i had to uninvite you unfortunately uh, that's all right i was fine yeah, yeah. I was, I was living far away anyway. If, yeah. <laughs> no, I mean, I wish I'd been there. I'm yeah, like, oh, crap, now I'm in trouble. Um, you know, I wish I'd been there, but still. But that was the hardest part. We had to uninvite people. Yeah. And I guess with um you, um you you had your bridesmaid buy um, bridesmaid dresses as well, didn't you? Did you have to yeah. take them back? Uh, I think mostly they kept their dresses. That's good. Because they were quite um versatile. Like, they weren't, like, real traditional bridesmaid dresses. They could wear them as like an evening gown as well. Oh, so that's good. I think they kept it, but. What colors were yeah. they? Navy. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's, yeah, you can't go wrong with navy. Yeah. It's like, it's like you know, it's a new black dress. Yeah. Um, yeah, fair enough. All right, good. Um, okay, so I was thinking like, 
So with the wedding book and stuff like that, do you still look at it from time to time or is it just because we're talking about it now? No, I haven't looked at it since the wedding. Is there anything that you would have done differently? Mm, I don't think so. No? Yeah, because I thought you, looked, no. you guys looked great. I mean, there's a picture of, um, of you guys over sort of on the side. and Yeah, you're a cute couple. <laughs> um, okay, good. And you're punching. <laughs> um yeah so um okay so how was it emotionally like on the you know like did you did you find that it was as you might predict you know did the, the whole sort of oh i love you thing how was it as an emotional experience mm. i think it was quite emotional on the day f- from from my point of view did you cry um i didn't cry on the day sorry i was a bit blunt <laughs> um but I, yeah i definitely felt emotional walking up walking down the aisle Mm. Um, but yeah very kind of exciting and kind of like a sense of relief at being able to finally mm. go ahead with the wedding after initially having to move everything and yeah I think it was a bit nerve wracking as well just as a, as a groom you're waiting at the the altar waiting for your wife to arrive and then I remember I think you were a little bit I think you were a little bit I think you were a little bit late as well so people asked me where, where is she and then just like <laughs> how do I know <laughs> She's out the back. I don't want her. <laughs> and she's in the Thames trying to swim away. <laughs> yeah, you've got to be a bit late. It's, mm. it's yeah, amazing. yeah, it's tradition. Yeah. yeah, although to be honest with you, everyone I've dated has always been quite yeah. late. So you know, like I'm just probably going to be sitting there, like on my phone, like Fish, better make it on time, ish. <laughs> like, you know what I'm like. Um. Anyway, so um, so like, was there anything that you were worried about? What was your greatest worry about, apart from it being cancelled altogether because of COVID? Mm, it's about? difficult because there's a that COVID thing overarches everything that's yeah. negative, yeah. and not negative even sort of anything. You know, it is the overarching fear for yeah. everybody. But um, you know, in terms of like you know, like just if it had been you know not COVID times, what what do you think in terms of that? What was your greatest fear of? What what was the thing you were worried about going wrong? Um, I don't know. Um, I guess you want all your guests to turn up. You don't want because. Oh, the thing about it, you have to do catering and everything. You, know, you pay for each guest, so you, mm. you don't want there to be good people not turning up. Yeah, that, it's that just you're a Yeah, the key people. I think that's the more f- the, the fair that the key people might not turn up. Uh, after I chose my groomsmen, I was hoping that all my groomsmen turn up. Otherwise, that's gonna mess. I got my shit ready. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. I actually was about to go buy a new suit actually yeah. for it. Um, okay, good. And um, I've done the big day. Yeah, I think I was probably worried that the caterers might not turn up. Yeah, yeah. The caterers yeah. wouldn't. Yeah. Yeah, could you imagine? It's like, all right, guys, everyone to the bar, there's chips. <laughs> um, there's chips, right? Mm. Yeah, yeah, we ain't got that many, though, mate. I don't know if you have this question written, written down, but before you even get to the big day, you have to go to like a register office. And I thought of. Um, what, 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 You're what like pre married or something. What do they call it again? We have to. Um, You have to. Um, you like, basically have to declare. I yeah. what it's called. Declare that you're you're gonna get married to yeah. the council. Yeah, and you have to do this like twenty eight days before you get married. Yeah. Did you have a quiz just before you got married? Yes. Because like where they quiz you to make sure that you know each other. Yeah, yeah. What, what do they ask you? Like um her date of birth, what job she does, <laughs> um her name for obviously basic. Her name. Yeah. Full name. Uh well. Well, including middle names. Yeah, yeah. What if what if she's got a tricky one to pronounce? She does. What's your middle name? Well, I'm not going to share it here. Oh, but yeah, of course, yeah. I'll tell you later. How many? Quite is unique. it like? Is it quite sort of difficult to pronounce? I fumbled it during the. Well, he he wasn't expecting to have to pronounce my middle names because yeah. when we went to, when we went to, um, <laughs> I fumbled her name when they to when register. They, were to they they weren't going to necessarily include my middle names because I hadn't put my middle names on my passport, and yeah. they they go by your passport name. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but then my mum was able to present my original birth certificate on the day. Oh, I bet so they you hated were, her for that. So they were able to include the middle name. So Marlon wasn't expecting them to. Yeah, and, and to be honest, I I the... <laughs> for the longest period, I didn't know her middle name because her pass. As she said her passport doesn't have a middle name on it. Didn't you ask? Yeah, she said, but it's like, yeah. like sort of random. Yeah, name, I, like, I, I can't, can't remember, remember my ex-girlfriend's yeah. middle yeah. names either. Well, I remember one of them, but yeah. yeah. So like my name is of like it's Daniel, so it's like a standard That's name. Easy. Yeah, standard yeah. name to remember. Yeah, so, so it's called notice. You yeah. have to give notice oh, of no. marriage to the yeah. council. You have to do twenty eight days. You have to do that all councils. And then, crazy. Yeah, put that, on a, even if you do a church wedding. Yeah. 
I think it's for the council, for like, in general. Uh, you, uh, I think you do have to do it yeah. for church wedding as well. It's yeah. a lot of paperwork, yeah. and they put your yeah. name on a board, and if anybody objects to it, they can. Well, that's how. It works. What do you reckon? What do you want to bet? Some super jealous person. Sorry, let me touch all over there. <laughs> No, no, it's okay. Right. What do you want to bet? There's some super jealous person just stalking up and down, like <laughs> looking over those lists, being like, all right, he's not cheating on me this week. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and you also have to pay as well. Yeah. How much do you have to pay? What, to be on a register? Yeah, it's somewhere check around the kind of £50. Pounds oh, that's not too much. It's not a lot of money. Why is it paying um, But yeah, you do have so to much. pay to give notice yeah. as well. What? So you got to pay for that. Then you got to pay like sort of five grand for the wedding venue. You have you gotta... to pay for the registrars that How much come out to marry 120 you. 120 quid? No, about 400, I think it was. 400 for 20 minutes work? Yeah, I think it was like that. It was a quite it's outrageous yeah. amount. That's that right. So you've already spent 450 quid just to have people officially declare it was actually, that you've already declaring. It was actually 600 pounds for Ooh. the registrars to come out. Did it's they more come expensive with on a Sunday. Wow. Got married on the Sunday. Oh, yeah, yeah, it was more. It was cheaper yeah, on six, Saturday. 600 pounds. On the Saturday or something. Around 500 on Saturday. Yeah. So they're making 300 bucks Sunday. each for an hour's work. Yeah. That's insanity. Less than an hour's work. Yeah, you literally stand there. Oh, they, oh on my mate's wedding, he got. Uh, the woman messed her messed the bride's name up, <laughs> and afterwards she was just sitting there crying, yeah. being like, "I can't believe I messed up her name," and it was just so funny because everyone because like that particular bride, yeah, you don't mess her her <laughs> name up. She is she's one of those people. She's a former police officer. She you, you you know like when people make you feel like you should be sitting up straight yeah. just by being in the room. She's one of those. Um, she doesn't like me. Uh, no, I th- I'm not sure if she does. I think she's lovely myself. But yeah, funny, anyway, the funny on. thing about that process is um, it's so sort of old school as well because it has to. It's all about the man, isn't it? The mm. whole process, yeah. yeah. Like it's about um. Ironically, for someone who didn't organise yeah. it, they were asking you all the questions. But they ask all about my dad's. Yeah, it's all about your dad's line. It's all about the man's line. Yeah. So. Mm. I don't have the best relationship with my dad, so they're asking me yeah. all these questions about my dad and everything. That's quite so upsetting, they're asking, actually. They're asking off the with occupation, if he retired. Although if, the law has recently changed. I think it was last year they changed it so that they now have to ask about right. the mother's line oh, as well. Right. They should. They recently yeah, updated it. It was weird. It was really weird. So I was just like, they're asking me all these questions about what, my dad. To make sure your pedigree or something. I don't know. You know? It's, it's in, on the register, on the records. Yeah. Yeah. It's all... Yeah. traditionally been the father's yeah. line because yeah. because obviously i would take marlon's surname mm. so if they were kind of to look back at records it all goes down yeah. the marital um, line yeah. so it goes down the male line yeah. yeah so they're not interested in my heritage my um maiden name they're interested in my my dad's name because that line would have gone down to my mum yeah yeah because she would have changed her name so that's how they connect yeah. it all but that the... would be your maiden name though wouldn't it because yeah yeah, yeah well, my yeah. maiden name is my dad's name yeah so that gets recorded but they're asking questions about my dad's so if my if my parents weren't married they still want to know my dad's name did you have to call your dad as well that day yeah because right, yeah. he was your details dad's... got included rather than my mom's details <sighs> i mean i yeah. assume that your parents are your parents married or not yeah, yeah. Okay, right, yeah. But, lucky, but they've recently changed yeah changed that changed lucky, it. lucky enough the questions yeah. they asked me i knew <laughs> Could you, like, if they asked me any more complicated questions they asked like if me the name what's your favorite color <laughs> Fuck. They asked, they asked, like, if <laughs> favorite flower Shit. i got dumped for that one once because she said you don't even know me and i was like i was like what do you mean she says you haven't even asked what my favorite flower is i was 14. yeah Anyway, go on. Yeah, they asked like his middle name and uh, his occupation. The only thing I couldn't answer is um, whether or not he's retired or not. I had to ask my mum. Yeah, because I mean, you don't yeah. know the guy. Yeah. yeah. I know him, but I mean, like, I, I didn't know if you. I know I knew what his occupation was. I didn't know if he was retired or not. I mean, there must be so many yeah. sort of awkward situations where people have, like, ended up, like, a little bit, you know, like, mm-hmm. if there's, like, the one little... I mean, I suppose that's the point, but and the, that's where the basic questions are still. So, moving on from that... um. I mean, bureaucracy is a lot of fun, mm-hmm. um, but from but would you say that on the whole, um, the experience has been something that you would do again, or is it one of those oh, things you're glad not. when you have to... <laughs> hopefully not? Yeah, that came out wrong. Um, <laughs> like, whoops. Uh, but is in like we you know like if you if if let's say you would you get remarried? Let's put it that way. Um, I would do that. Especially, as in remarried as a couple, just the two of you, yeah. not anyone else. Especially if, unless, of course, you know, you got really friendly with some random guy and or really yeah, I mean, to I'd, dog into the fold. I'd, I'd love to do like a big wedding. Yeah, I'll definitely yeah. Do that. to renew our vows. Yeah. You know, it'd be nice if it was a surprise or something rather than. She's not putting any pressure on you at all. Rather right, than something and, that I was yeah. plan again. 
I don't, I don't really fancy planning it again. I'll yeah. help you. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll definitely um... She is grinning from ear to ear now, looking at him sweat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll definitely be up for like um, doing the remind remind thing in a few years. Yeah, safe answer. In a few years, like it, like it, like it. <laughs> so, just to have interest, you two. All right. So, like, what was the most awkward moment of your of your wedding? And then I'm also going to ask that about your marriage as well. <laughs> oh, the most awkward moment of your marriage. Let's start there. <laughs> Of the wedding or marriage, you got what are the options? Um, let's start with wedding. We'll go to marriage after. Uh, <laughs> I'm not gonna like you after. I met, I met my wife after first. The, 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 the wedding. I was, I was, I was saying that I think just the guest list, and although we had to cut down anyway because of COVID, and to be honest, that made our lives a lot mm. easier in some yeah, ways because reason. it was just no, yeah. We, no, you, we, you can't just openly angry. admit that some that you just think the guys are knobhead. Yeah, yeah, we just had a clear <laughs> reason, but. I think before we kind of had COVID and we were planning the 100 people wedding, one of the challenges was that you just end up really finding out that there's a lot of people you want to invite, but there's a lot of people who have plus ones who mm. you either don't know or don't necessarily want to invite. Mm. And it just makes it really hard to kind of keep to keep the numbers down because you're paying per head. Yeah. And therefore, you know... You... I mean, it's 100 pounds a head usually, isn't it? Yeah, it's it? quite a lot. So... That was really awkward. I think just kind of deciding which plus ones yeah. were going to be allowed and which ones we were going to say oh, well, no. Me make those I remember I thinking, about, sorry mate, it's because you're a dick. Yeah, your wife's coming though because uh, marriage is hot. <laughs> <laughs> I remember thinking that like, oh, if I invite this person, this this family member, I'm going to have to invite some other people as well. And then I was like, oh, better not invite them because that sounds like a nightmare. Yeah. It sounds like a social well, you, nightmare. The whole thing about inviting people to your wedding, you sort of have to take account who you is who's your actual friend. And like from for, I think when I was inviting people, I was just like if I haven't spoken to them for about like, two years, uh, mm. I'm like no longer a friend. Even though that's not really true, but I mean to me I'm just like I haven't spoken to you for two years, so I'm not really gonna Yeah, or it's like if they haven't made the effort to speak yeah. to you. I mean even if they've like you know like yeah, but two years flag by so it can happen but I mean two or three. Yeah. yeah. I think that's one of the things about COVID is that it yeah. sort of taught us yeah. that we went from having like very broad social bubbles to actually I only really mm. message about five people now and two of them are in groups. You know, like I found that so I guess the same thing would probably apply to a wedding. It's it's sad in a way, but also kind of do you find that it kind of cuts a lot of the fat, so to speak, of, of the state? You know, it did feel like not inviting people to your wedding was like ending the relationship. Yeah, <laughs> it's like, well, that's that's Nothing how you, that's how you know. Not worth that... hundred pounds to me. That's yeah, it's all. like <laughs> that's what happened. Now what? I know you're not a friend. Yeah, that's what happened? Did well. you have any bitchy situations like that, like where they actually kind of turned around and were like super mean to you? I don't think so. Mm. No. no. Oh, that's good. Never what? got to start because oh. we had to cut down to fifteen people in yeah. the end yeah. anyway. So. What happens? Well, people at the beginning you like invite themselves to your wedding anyway. They invite themselves. Yeah, that's cheeky. That happens like, when you tell people you're getting married. They're like, oh yeah. All right, I'll, right, I'll come along. Yeah. Great. <laughs> to the after party? No, no, no. To the meal. Or they're like, oh, you have to invite us if you get married. Or <laughs> it's like, no, I don't. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, because I can't imagine. Well, I know who I'd have in mind. I mean, you know, like. But for me, it's the, the awkward one is the best man bit because mm. I'll probably end up with my brother because, you know, it's just the easiest option, isn't it? The safe option as well, your brother. Yeah. You had your sister as a maid of honour. So. Yeah. You have lots of friends as well, so... Yeah, yeah, I didn't really want to choose. Yeah. And... So nobody could be angry with you choosing your yeah, sister. Yeah, it's helpful when you've got a sibling. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think of the idea of having a co-best man or co-maid of honour? Cop out. Choose. Cop out. <laughs> you, you've been a co-maid choose. of honour, haven't you? Well, I found that I actually wasn't made of honor later oh. on. Yeah. Oh no! Oh, ouch! <laughs> I thought I was made of honor, but I misunderstood. What is in you? We were just both bridesmaids. We were just both bridesmaids. Common bridesmaids. Oh, so just both bridesmaids. Okay. <laughs> I had um to spin off of that. I heard a funny story. Um, my my old manager was telling me that he went on a stag do, mm. and um he was talking to this guy. He seemed like a really nice guy, and he, he said to him, "I'll see you at the wedding." He goes, "I'm not invited." Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that does happen sometimes yeah. when people get invited to the stag and hen do, but they're not invited yeah. to the actual wedding. I, I, find, I think that's really awkward. It's just... so awkward, yeah, because it's like, yeah, sorry, everyone else is excited about this party that we're here to celebrate. But mm. do you remember the cake incident? Yeah, that's why. <laughs> <laughs> but if that, it's just down to the limited guests you can have, like a stag do, you can yeah. have how many people you like, want. Really. Usually it's about 15, I yeah. think. But then again, I mean, like, oh, I mean, and also it's nice to not have to, walk. that's the one thing you don't have to organise, hopefully. I mean, you know, your stag do was only two of us because yeah. we weren't allowed out. Yeah. Oh, sorry, three of us. 
because we weren't allowed out. And, yeah. You know, like and S didn't know who else to invite. Yeah. Um. Yeah, which is kind of a bit. Yeah, we'll do that again as well. No, don't worry. No, <laughs> you threw up everywhere. <laughs> yeah. I can't go back in that bar again. It was revolting. It costs hundreds of pounds in damages in that poor Uber. You know, I mean, like it went down the side into the glove compartment of the door. So basically, I was in the back of this. I was. They took me out drinking all oh, day God. long. He I was in the, the back. Of, I was in the back of this Uber, and I I fell asleep. I'm, I forgot. I forgot. I was wearing a face mask. So I just like the most sickness. <laughs> you slept next to that that same yeah. night. <laughs> I just remember when you came home, and I just kept saying, "Wipe your mouth, like yeah. please do not touch anything." <laughs> Yeah. And well, even Les was just like I know I, you know it's actually quite funny because <laughs> I was messaging you being like I am so 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 sorry I can promise you it was all S S was the best man and yeah because he kept giving you Ray nephews which is just retarded yeah yeah gave like, me, that is just gave dumb. Me all the, I think I had the video on um, Instagram for anybody listening of me taking all these shots it didn't end well it did not end yeah. well I mean it was it was I was I mean, it got to the stage where I was asking you if you were okay, if you're sure you want to continue. It was a bit like in a boxing round where it's like the guy's about to go down, everyone knows it, and then the referee's quietly hinting that maybe brain damage isn't the way to go. It doesn't matter enough. And then, yeah, and then... So oh. I, was the, I was in the back of this Uber, forgot I was wearing a face mask, so I needed to throw up. So I opened the, the door in, the, in traffic, <laughs> stuck my head out to throw up, yeah, forgetting I'm wearing the face mask, and then the, the, the thick, this went all over my face mask, all down my clothes, all over we the had the bag in front of you. That yeah. was the weird bit. I was like, well, why is it everywhere? And S is like, I don't know, but just get to a cash point. I owe the guy hundred pounds. <laughs> and I, I'm, just like, I'm like, I'm not paying for this. I can't afford this. And he's like, yeah, well I can, cause I yeah. actually have a job. And like, you know, I have a proper job. But no, I remember cause like I was messaging you about it. And yeah, you were like, put the kettle on, we're on our yeah, way. Yeah, please put the kettle on. <laughs> like, I was like, and the thing is, because like, I don't message you that often. I think like the other day I had to, I, I was asking, I had to ask you a question about something I can't remember. Um, I think it's like, when's Marlon's birthday, um, or something like that, because um, I need to send a present. And um, yeah, it was just like, but it was just silly. It was like, and then, but I saw that the only text I'd sent you before then was me being like, I am so, 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 so <laughs> sorry. <laughs> like, incoming brackets. Good luck carrying that up the stairs. <laughs> Because I remember, who is it? It was a stag deal when we had to carry. So this has gone off point. Yeah. So um, <laughs> my best man, S, I had to um, he passed. We went went to Prague for his stag do, and he passed out. Heard we there? Yeah. He passed out, and then we had to like lift him. And S is about my size, a bit shorter, but a bit, but probably my size and weight. He's a heavy guy. He's a big fucker. Yeah, yeah. It took us like four of us to lift him up. Yeah, it was, it was yeah, crazy. and I was not there because I was too busy getting yelled at by yeah. a bunch of girls who I refused to buy drinks for, <laughs> um, which was really weird, by the way. Why were they screaming at me? I'm just sitting there. I was like, no, I'm, I'm not paying for you. That's five pound a shot. No, I'm not going to buy nine of you a shot. I don't need to get laid. <laughs> you know, like... Anyway, so yeah, no, I mean, yeah, carrying people. Are... Yeah, anyway, right. Back to marriage. Speaking of carrying, carrying people. Um, right. So, yeah, I think I've run out of questions now. Is there anything else? Yeah. Oh yeah, what's the most awkward thing about being married? Oh right, yeah, yeah. So like, forget the wedding day, but like in general, like being married, you're attached to each other. Oh, also, do you believe in the whole eternity thing, or are you kind of relieved that that maybe might not necessarily be the clause? Um, what do you mean, like in terms of like? <laughs> <laughs> so forty percent of marriages end in divorce. Mm. Thereabouts, some somewhere between forty and fifty percent. Wow. So that's like almost half. Um. It's expensive. So that's the realistic. So you think that 50, I mean, I, I'd put figure. you on the 50% anyway, just because, you know, you're such chilled out people. As in, no, 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 good 50, oh, not, not right. bad 50, sorry. <laughs> sorry, I'm not just sitting there eyeing up the next, you know, like, no, no, you guys are going to be together forever, you know, yada, yada, yada. But I think we both take marriage very seriously yeah. and and see it as a lifelong commitment that, you She's know. She's looking you, right at him. You try, to, <laughs> like, you try to make it work, don't you? No. I think for me, especially, like, I wouldn't, do it if I uh, went into it half heartedly, and um, it's mm -hmm. not something I want to do again. It's just like th this is it for me. This is not. This is not something I'm like. Oh, yeah, I just go. If it doesn't work, I just get divorced and get married again. It's not something I plan to do again. This is like the one and only time I plan to do it. Yeah, I mean it's expensive yeah. as well. I mean, you know, like divorces are just as bad. Yeah. I mean, I'm not saying to stay in it for the money or the no. kids, but I'm just saying. Like, but I yeah, think it's not like it's not. It's not. You're not dating anymore. It's not just a you know, boyfriend girlfriend. It's like. Yeah, you have to work to make it work. Yeah, it's a yeah. partnership. You have to like put the effort into it. 
can't just go, oh yeah, just get divorced. That, that's how, I think that's the attitude a lot of yeah. people have nowadays is just, uh, if you people don't work are out, I just get divorced. Well, I mean, I just literally yesterday was broken up with yeah. by somebody who told me previously that she sees it as a sign of strength to be able to walk away from a relationship at a moment's notice. Mm -hmm. And to me, that's not the way it should be. I, I think that that's where we fundamentally but that, disagree. But that's still a relationship. That's something yeah. that can, you're not living with each other. You're not no, financially but, intertwined like, with each other. It's the whole first sign of trouble, I'll run away kind mm -hmm. of thing, as opposed mm -hmm. to... But, or you know, or if you're even slightly difficult, and then you know, it just makes everyone disposable. And I think that what you just said there about your marriage is I disagree, really good. I disagree with you in terms of uh, in in terms of dating. I think if there is like, we're well, like, talking six months into a relationship, yeah, and we're not but, talking just dating. Yeah, yeah. but like, I think if it's a short relationship, you can walk away. Well, it is if, now. If, if Sorry, it doesn't work. <laughs> if it doesn't feel like it's working out, why yeah. prolong something that's not working out in an early stage? I think. I think you can. I don't, yeah. I don't see the point in fighting. I don't know. Why. I've always been an accidental yeah. fighter myself, yeah. you know, and that's why I've ended up probably with a bit more psychological damage than I needed to have because of fighting yeah. battles I shouldn't have had to fight. Uh, or just shouldn't have been in the battle. Fighting for the your marriage for. makes sense, but fighting for a short relationship, I'm not sure. Yeah. Yeah, but then every little problem becomes, a, you know, like... I don't mean like, oh, pebble, you know? oh, dinner's not made, I'm breaking up with you or something <laughs> small. But I mean, Could you like... imagine the backlash on Twitter? Yeah. If you... If man divorces woman because quote dinner wasn't made, <laughs> I mean like you know like good luck getting that one around around from the sun. Yeah, like, you know you'd be oh you'd be like the Tinder swindler. You'd be fucked. <laughs> you would be fucked. That was hilarious. Yeah, that was terrible. <laughs> I can't believe that he's he's getting a TV program now. Really? Yeah, apparently he's getting a TV program. Um, he's making shit tons of money now off the back of it, and these women are still in debt. How fucked up is mm. that? Anyway, on the note of true romance. Um, all right, let's let's wrap it up. Um, yeah, because like Amory looks like she needs to do, do some work, and she's yeah. been very. I want to thank smiling. my beautiful wife for stepping in to do this episode. Oh, I know nice. she's it's very nice. busy today, so, but yeah, I want to thank you very much. That's okay. Um, you you can do dinner. <laughs> <laughs> I can buy dinner. Man. <laughs> Apparently, marriage is just like. Is it true though that marriage is just sort of messaging each other, being like, "What do you want for dinner?" No, but there is a lot of negotiation that goes on as mm. part of oh, that. Who's the best negotiator? Compromising. Well, we keep a little bit of a kind of a, a, a track of, you know, <laughs> Compr like a leaderboard sort of thing. Yeah. Do you actually? <laughs> no. <laughs> I haven't seen it yet. There's no tally. I wonder what those tallies all along the it's wall a mental are. Lead <laughs> it's, a, it's a mental lead. You've got a mental, you know, how many shots have you got in this week? Yeah. <laughs> all right, your, your round, my round kind of thing. <laughs> yeah. I think, that's a, I think that's the basis of every good relationship is that, you know, it's like, it's your round. Oh. <laughs> um, this has been another episode of Off Point. Yep, my name's Les Steed. I'm Arnold White. And we'd like to thank our special guest. Bye. Thanks. Bye. <laughs>